How to file ACA 1094 and 1095 forms with eFile My Forms. Thank you for visiting eFile My Forms. In this tutorial, we are going to show you how to generate and file your 1095 and 1094 ACA forms. For this tutorial, we are going to assume that you have already created or imported your recipient and filer information. To start a manual filing entry, you need to have at least one filer and one recipient. Please note that in this guide, sample information will be used. When filing, make sure you enter your own information. For this video, we will be creating a 1095 form manually. However, if you have 1095 forms you wish to import, you can do so by clicking New Import. First, Click Add New Form in the top right-hand corner of the screen. Next, select the form type you would like to file. Under the Popular Forms section, you can find the 1095B and 1095C forms. For this example, I will be filing a 1095C. Next, select which filer you would like to report from. To select a filer, Click the circle icon in the Select column. Once you've selected your filer, click Continue. Next, on the Recipients page, select a recipient you would like to use. Then click Continue. After selecting your filer and recipient, you'll be shown a blank form for the tax season you picked. E-File My Forms will automatically fill in your filer and recipient information based on your previous selections. Fill in your form as needed. If you need detailed instructions on how to fill out your form, click Download Instructions.pdf. This link will allow you to download detailed instructions from the IRS in PDF form. Please read the parts of the document that apply to your form type because eFile My Forms does not provide tax advice. Once you are finished filling out your form, click Save Form. After saving your form or forms, you will be taken back to the home page where you can view your in-progress forms. Before you can file your 1095s, you must fill out an accompanying 1094 transmittal form. The 1094 form summarizes the information on the 1095 forms that are being submitted. You will need to generate a separate 1094 transmittal for each of your filers. To start filling out a 1094, click the Finish Transmittal link in the Status column. You can click this link on any row and the transmittal status will be updated for all associated 1095 forms. Since we are doing 1095C forms, our transmittal is a 1094C. It will autofill some of the current filer's information with a summary of the form 1095C. We recommend that you add and or verify a contact name on line 7. Only complete the other fields if you know that they specifically apply to you. The IRS requires that you only submit one authoritative transmittal per employer. If this will be the authoritative transmittal for this ALE applicable large employer member, go ahead and check the box on line 19. When you're ready to continue, enter your digital signature at the bottom of the form. You can also enter your title if you wish. When you're ready, click next step to continue. A message will appear on the screen. Please read it carefully as it describes important information about the 1094C. Once you are done reading, press OK. On step 2, review the information on the screen and modify it if it is not correct. When you are done, press the next step button. Again on step 3, you will need to fill out some information about the ALE member. Once you have filled out your information, 
press the Complete Transmittal button in the lower right hand corner of the screen. You will be taken back to your home screen. You will notice that the status has changed from Finish Transmittal to Not in Cart View Transmittal. This status change will apply to all 1095s associated with the 1094 you just filled out. This means that every 1095 form with the same filer on your homepage will automatically get updated to this new status. Now we can begin filing the forms. You can add your form or forms to your cart by clicking the shopping cart icon or by clicking add all to cart. When you're ready to check out, click the My Cart button in the top right-hand corner of the screen. On the My Cart page, there are options to consider before beginning the checkout process. First, you can select the type of filing service you want. By clicking on the Services tab, you can select from Print, Mail, E-File, E-File Only, e-delivery, print, e-file. Select the service you would like to use. For this example, I'll be choosing e-delivery, print, e-file. If you would like to have records of your filings, you can click the Summary Report and Totals Report buttons to view and print summaries of all the filings in your cart. When you're ready to continue, click Secure Checkout. Next, confirm or edit your payment information and billing address. Once you are ready, click Review Your Order. Now, on the Review and Pay page, you can select Add-on Services. We will be adding the ACA State Filing Add-on Service. This add-on service will send all eligible forms to the appropriate states for filing. You will be charged $1.49 per eligible filing, plus $99 for the yearly setup fee per state. The subscription fee will be charged to the first order of the tax year, and the $1.49 per form fee will be charged for all state eligible forms that are in your order. Please note that the ACA Direct State Reporting Service is for eligible states only. For more information, please see our Affordable Care Act Reporting Services page on the eFile My Forms website or the ACA State Filing Add-on article in our Help Center. To access our Help Center, all you need to do is click the Help Center button at the top of the screen. When you're ready to place your order, click Submit and Pay. This will take you to an order confirmation page where you can review your order and print your receipt. Thank you for watching.